So the second part of the lab involves figuring out what our substances are. And one of the ways that we can do it is to compare our things with known substances. So this is a snapshot of all the known substances. I'm gonna zoom in on some of these here. And these are copper substances. So I have copper, pure copper, it's powder. I have copper chloride, this is copper one chloride. You can see the color of that. Is it also a powder? This is copper two chloride. So copper two chloride is a dihydrate, uh, CuCl2. This is pure iron. Iron three chloride. And iron two chloride. So the question now is, what does our substances look like? If you recall, this is what our substances look like. This was the, the stuff in the cup. The red, clumpy stuff has now been kind of chopped up. And so you can see what that looks like. And this is the stuff that was in the, the way boat. I kind of chopped up a little bit of it. And maybe we can figure out what that is and how that resembles some of these six different things here. A couple other tests we're gonna do are gonna look at whether the substance dissolves in water. So this was the stuff that was in the, the cup and you can see that there is some solid at the bottom. So that did not dissolve in water. This is the stuff that was in the filter paper and it's kind of cloudy. You can tell it, maybe it dissolved a little bit, somewhat, but it's a little murky. And, and so that's the stuff that's in the filter paper. We can also test the conductivity of this in water. So the first one you can see in water. If I have the light here, here we go. Nothing happens. Whereas this one here, Let's try this out. And that conducts. So this, the stuff in the filter paper definitely conducts. The stuff in the cup did not dissolve or conduct when it was in water. Another test we can do is looking at the flame color of the different substances. If I take the solid here, so this is my solid that I had from the cup and I put some into a deflagrating spoon. I'm gonna put that in there and we're gonna look at the flame color. So what does that tell us about the substance once you see that it is turning that color there, okay? The other substance we'll have, let me set this to the side, is the stuff in the, the weigh boat. And so the stuff in the weigh boat, I'm going to take a little bit of water. We kind of scraped off some of the stuff a little bit of water, put it in here so it, it is uh, dissolving. And then I'm gonna take a wire loop, go ahead and place that into here, and we'll see what this color is. Okay, so you can kind of see that's much different. Definitely not the color that of the solid. So now we're gonna see what kind of information we can all put together. So a lot of my students said that the substance in the cup looked kind of like pure copper. And this is what pure copper looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's kind of this reddish powder. I put some into a deflagrating spoon and we can test that out and see how that compares to the cup substance, so I'm gonna do that right now. Let me see how I flame test. And you can see 
it makes this nice green flame. So copper will make a nice green flame when it is heated up like that. Okay. The other substance was the, the stuff in the way boat and there are two iron substances. So the first is iron two chloride. And you can see here, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it's clear. Let me see if it, it's kind of this, um, you know, it dissolved, it's a little murky. So that kind of reminds us of what we saw with the wayboat substance dissolved. And then this is iron three chloride. And you can see that's really clear. So that substance is really clear. And that definitely did not look like the substance from the wayboat tray. If I take a wire loop and go ahead and put this in, and see how that's really similar to the other color. So that, that kind of tells us that we have this substance in our wayboat tray.